students, welcome back to Sunday School. I'm so glad you could be with me here today. I'm Miss Jennifer, and today we're talking about Jesus. We always talk about Jesus, don't we? But today we're talking about Jesus and the Last Supper. Now, if you remember back in the, when we're talking in, during Easter time, there was a supper before Easter, and Jesus said, this is my body, do this in rem remembrance of me. This is my blood, do this in remembrance of me, when he was drinking the wine and eating the bread. And if you go to church, or if some of you are older and have done your First Holy Communion, you know that that's what we do. We have bread and wine that it becomes Jesus' body and blood during the Mass. And so this is the way that Jesus wanted us to remember him. So we want to think about how do we remember Jesus? What are the things that we do to remember Jesus every day? What are the, some of the things we can do to remember Jesus every day? What do you think? What do you think Jesus would want us to do? Mm, that's another question, right? Well, would be nice to people. I think that's right. Play with our friends, be good to our other people around us, love people. I think he would want us to love people because Jesus was all about love, right? And he loves us even today. So we're gonna, I want you to think about all the kind of things that we can do to remember Jesus. And we're gonna bring that into our craft later. Right now I wanna read, read a book called Jesus Is With Me. See, there's a little boy inside a tent. Jesus is with me. Jesus is with me wherever I go. I read the Bible and that's how I know. Oh, it's a rhyming book. I like rhyming books. Fighting fires. <laughs> Do you think there was a fire at the dog house? <laughs> I hope not. I think the little dog is hiding behind the dog house. Looking for a bear, it helps to know that Jesus is there. Hmm, do you think we should go looking for bears? I don't think so. Doing the chores, singing a song, Jesus always comes along. So if we were doing chores and singing a song, do you think we could talk to Jesus? Do you think we could say a prayer right then? Yeah, you can, anytime. Climbing a mountain. <laughs> That's not really a mountain, is it? <laughs> Going to town. I know that Jesus is always around. Here, hurting the cows. <laughs> He's hurting the little dogs. Taking a ride. Jesus is always by my side. Do you think that little boy is really driving a car, or do you think that's a little car? What do you think? Exploring the jungle. Have you ever gone out in the backyard and explored like you're exploring a jungle? I used to do that when I was little. We had some woods behind my house, so it was really, really fun. Sailing the sea. Jesus is always there with me. Going to bed, turning out the light, Jesus is with me throughout the night. Jesus takes my sins away, and he's with me every day. And that's right. Jesus is with us every day, and he always remembers us, and he always thinks about us, right? So I'm going to do our gospel reading before we do our craft. Now, we call this gospel. I know you might wonder why we why do we call this gospels. Where the... The Bible, if you've ever seen a Bible, it has two sections. It has the Old Testament, that's before Jesus was born, and it has the New Testament. And in the New Testament, the first four chapters, or the first four we call them books, are called the Gospel, and they're the story of Jesus' life. And so this is a reading from the Gospel according to Mark, so it's the book of Mark. It was the first day of the Feast of Thin Bread, and Passover lambs were being killed. Jesus' disciples asked him, where do you want us to prepare the Passover meal? So this was a, a, a special time. It's called Passover. Jesus said to two of the disciples, Go into the city, where you will meet a man carrying a jar of water. Follow him, and when he goes into a house, say to the owner, Our teacher wants to know if you have a room where he can eat the Passover meal with his disciples. The owner will take you upstairs and show you a large room furnished and ready for your use. Prepare the meal there. The two disciples went into the city and found everything just as Jesus had told them. 
So they prepared a Passover meal. During the meal, Jesus took some bread in his hands. He blessed the bread and broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples and he said, Take this, it is my body. Jesus picked up a cup of wine and he gave thanks to God. And he gave it to the disciples and said, Drink it. So they all drank some. Then he said, This is my blood, which is poured out for many people. And with it, God makes his agreement. From now on, I will not drink any wine until I drink new wine in the God's kingdom. Then they sang a hymn and went to the Mount of Olives, the Gospel of the Lord. So this is the story of the Last Supper that I was telling you earlier. This is a story where Jesus said, take this bread and take this wine and do this in remembrance of me. And if you go to Mass, you will see that the priest does that every single Mass. We have bread and we have wine. And that's one of the ways Jesus wanted us to remember him. So what are some of the other ways that we could remember Jesus? Well, what I would like you to do, and for this craft you need a piece of construction paper, and then maybe some stickers or some crayons. And what I want you to do is make a card, you know, by folding it in half, with the card. And then list, have your mom and dad help you with this, but I want you to list some of the ways that we can remember Jesus every day. Ooh, this is sideways. I want you to uh, remember some of the ways that we can remember Jesus every day. So, so what are the, some of the things that we can do? Well, we can always say a prayer. That helps. Um, and that's us talking to Jesus. So we can always do that every day. But what are some of the other things? Because some of the little things, like hugging your mom or putting away your toys or remembering to be nice to people because that's what Jesus wanted us to do. So I want you to list them all and then I want you to color the front whatever color you want to with crayons, you can scribble scrabble, you can do whatever. This, this is a special card for Jesus. So you can decorate it with uh, stickers or whatever it is that you want to decorate it with. And that's our craft for today. Before we go, let's hear a song from Mr. Steve. Well, if you could turn your car off. Just gonna, we're gonna we're gonna film right now, really quick. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. This is our third try. <laughs> All right, is it filming? All right, here we go. Hi, everybody. This is Steve here. We're gonna do some worship songs, and I think you might be familiar with this one. It's called "Awesome God." All right, we're gonna use our bodies. God gave us our bodies to praise the Lord. So we're gonna start with this L. Okay, it means Lord in sign language. You're gonna go. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Okay, let's try it out. It goes with something like this.
Great job, guys. God bless you. Remember singing. It's praying twice. See you again. Thank you, Mr. Steve. That was great. Okay, let's say our closing prayer. So repeat after me in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for coming to us and helping us remember you. And thank you for bringing us together today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.